Hi class, I'm going to go ahead and solve several Newton's second law problems here. Feel free to skip ahead, feel free to just pick and choose what problems you want to look at, and hopefully this helps you solve the problems. First problem is, what is the normal force on a 2 kilogram book that is at rest on top of a table? First thing you always want to do is draw a force diagram. So I'm going to draw the gravitational force pulling down on the book, and then the normal force pushing up on the book from the table. I'm also going to make a little note off here to the side that the acceleration equals zero. To solve all these problems, you start with Newton's second law, which is the equation F net equals M times A. You then want to take F net and you want to break it apart into the forces that are from your force diagram causing this object to possibly move. In this case, We've got Fn up and Fg down, but the object's not even moving. It's got an acceleration of zero. It's, it's sitting at rest. So what we can do is we can go ahead and just pick any direction to be positive or negative. I tend to make upwards positive, and then by default that makes downwards negative. So when I do my F net and I break it apart, I'm going to have positive Fn minus Fg equals m times a. That's the most important step, is getting that F net broken up according to what's given in your force diagram. At this point, it becomes problem solving, becomes math. I don't know the Fn. I know Fg is mass times 9.8. So there's going to be a formula on your formula sheet. You've already seen it, which is Fg equals mass times 9.8. So it's my 2 kilograms times 9.8. My mass is 2 kilograms, and my acceleration is 0 because it's at rest. Just to show some of the math, it would be Fn minus 19.6 equals 0. And then I would add 19.6 to both sides, and I would get Fn equals 19.6 newtons. So Fn is equal to Fg. That's an important thing here. That because there is no acceleration vertically, that, there, that the Fn is going to equal Fg. That'll be very helpful and a shortcut for a lot of problems coming on up. Next problem. How much force is required to push a five kilogram backpack across your lab table at a constant speed if the friction force is 45 newtons? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a force diagram. Uh, there's Fg, there's an applied force, there's the normal force, and there's going to be a friction force along that lab table the opposite way. I'm also going to make a note that the acceleration is going to be zero because it's at a constant speed, as you saw up there. First thing we're going to do is we're going to write out F net equals M times A. Now this object's moving to the right. Okay, so it's moving to the right, which means there's no acceleration vertically, which means Fn and Fg are equal to each other, but they're going to cancel out. They're not going to affect the acceleration or the constant speed moving left or right. So at this point, just like the last problem, we have two forces. We have Fa and we have Ff. That's when it's going to affect the velocity, the acceleration of that object. So I'm going to define to the right as positive. And then I can make the opposite way to the left as negative. You guys get to choose, but I tend to do the direction that the object is moving um, or accelerating sometimes as the positive direction and the opposite way would be negative. Or in this case, um, sometimes you can just make to the right as positive or I commonly make up positive as well. So here I can go FA and then minus the FF equals M times A. Now my applied force, I don't know. My friction force in the directions is 45 newtons. My mass is five kilograms, but my acceleration is zero. Even though it's a constant speed, the acceleration is zero. So then Fa minus 45 equals zero, and Fa equals 45. And the reason why they are balanced, why Fa is 45 and Ff is 45 is because the object is moving at a constant speed. 
if you can remember, the acceleration is caused by a net force. I need more force to get it to accelerate. Once something's at a constant speed, the friction force and the applied force will be the, will be the same. We'll go ahead and see what happens when things accelerate in the next problem. In this problem, it's somebody being pushed. In this case, it's uh, you push your brother across the floor at 1.5 meters per second squared. How much force do you need to push with if he has a mass of 40 kilograms? Assume the friction force is 150 newtons. I'm going to go ahead and redraw this really quickly. There's a kid. He feels an applied force. Somebody's pushing him this way with an applied force. We don't know what that is. There's a gravitational force. There's a normal force on that kid. And there's a friction force on their feet. Once again, uh, I want to know which way it's accelerating. In this case, they are accelerating at 1.5 meters per second squared. So there is an acceleration that way. That's the way I almost always want to put that uh, acceleration as positive acceleration to the right, if not 100% of the time which means that my normal force and my gravitational force are not going to play into F net because those two forces are vertical forces. And this child, this brother of yours, is going to be accelerating to the right. Therefore, when we do Newton's second law, since the object is accelerating to the right, the vertical forces are not going to play a part. And then going to make to the right positive, that's the direction it's accelerating, which means I'm going to make to the left negative. So I would do FA minus FF equals M times A. I don't know my applied force. My friction force is given in the problem. That's 150 newtons. My mass is 40. My acceleration is 1.5. So then I would have FA minus 150 equals 60, and then I would get an applied force of 210 newtons to the right. In this case, because my applied force is greater than my friction force of 150, that is what causes that person to accelerate. Next up. We are lifting a grocery bag off the ground. So I'll make a little note. This is the ground and somebody's pulling up on that grocery bag. And then we've got another force trying to pull it back downward. So I've got an applied force up and I've got gravity down. In this situation, I've got a six kilogram grocery bag and it's accelerating up. So I'm going to say upwards is going to be positive and that would make gravity negative. I want to know how much applied force I am pushing with to have that acceleration of four meters per second squared. So I'm going to start with F net equals MA. Now, like I said, because I made positive acceleration going up and the object is moving up, I'm going to make that positive. And I'm going to subtract off FG and that'll equal m times a. I don't know fa. fg is, again, our formula. fg equals mass times 9.8. So I'm going to do 6 times 9.8. Excuse me, sorry. I'm going to have to open that back up. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, so now um, I'm going to do F net equals M times A. Sorry. Some technical difficulties here. Sorry. Uh, M times A. And then I'm going to do FA minus FG equals M times A. So then FA minus 6 times 9.8 
equals 6 kilograms times my acceleration of 4. And then my FA will equal, and I'm going to have to go to my calculator here for a second. It looks like it's 82.8 newtons. All right, we will move along. In this case here, I've got two parents pushing uh, with 50 newtons each to the right on a wagon with their child on it. If the wagon and child has a mass of 25 kilograms, determine the acceleration, ignore any friction. Okay, so in this case, it looks like there's a gravitational force down there's a normal force up on all the wheels, and then there are two people pushing forward with applied forces to the right. I want to determine the acceleration of the wagon. So I'm going to assume that the wagon's originally at rest, and then it's going to accelerate to the right. So I'm going to write F net equals M times A, and then I'm going to do... Well, Fn and Fg are going to cancel because it's not accelerating up or downwards in the problem. It seems as if the acceleration is directly to the right. So I'm going to do Fa plus Fa because there's two forces going in the same direction. So they will add up equals m times a. It looks like each force was 50 newtons, so 50 plus 50. And then the 25 kilogram wagon and child. And then my acceleration is unknown. So 100 equals 25a, and then my acceleration equals 4 meters per second squared. All right, and in uh, one final problem that I will do will be this one right here. Uh, a person pushes a chair to the left, and there's a certain amount of friction determine the mass of the chair okay so gravity pulls down on the chair normal force pulls up on the chair he's pushing to the left and applied force on the chair and there's a friction force backwards on the chair again the acceleration is directly to the left which means fn and fg will cancel and we've got f net equals m times a i'm going to assume the chair accelerates to the left but in this case, I get to choose which way is positive and negative. So I'm going to choose, in this case, to the left to be positive, and I can make FF to the right being negative. So just because it's going left doesn't mean you have to make FA negative. You can, and then FF will be positive. But I tend to make the direction it's accelerating to be the positive direction. So in this case, it's still FA minus FF equals M times A. And then... Uh, the applied force up in the directions is 60 newtons. The friction force is 20 newtons. The mass of the chair is unknown, and the acceleration is 2. Therefore, I've got 40 equals m times 2, and the mass of the chair is 20 kilograms. Um, I have a 15-minute time limit on these videos. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video, upload it, and I will make another video for the slightly more challenging problems. And I'll post them both for you guys here. Thank you.